next day, I think I'm gonna do the first OEM Plus mod to my car. There's just gonna be a K&N air filter just for like sound preferences and this filter is a lot better than the OEM one. This is actually the LHT performance mod. I'll go ahead and link their video up in the corner over here. So pretty much what they do is they cut out a piece in the inside that muffles like the VTEC sound, like kind of like the raw intake sound. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut that out and throw in this new K&N filter. Pretty much a direct fit for the SDK because it has like that, that notch at the end. I'll show you guys in a bit what I'm talking about. But you're also gonna want some like Honda bond or I went with this JB Weld plastic bonder. Works just the same. There's a hole we have to plug in. There's a part number, E-2435. It's direct, direct fit for the SDK. Yeah guys, it's a stock AP2. This is a 2004 so it still has a throttle cable, which is dope. <laughs> So I'll go ahead and give you guys a sound clip of how it sounds now with this and then I'll go ahead and show you guys how it sounds with it after I go ahead and do that. So this is all this, all this is right here is like just a muffle. It just muffles uh, like the raw intake sound. So I'm kind of excited to see how it's going to sound after. Yeah, it's pretty easy to take this out. It's just a couple screws down there. There. You're going to want to um, unclip a few down here like this one. Let's go ahead and get this done. Alright guys, so... I'm not sure if you guys are gonna be able to tell a huge difference. Let's go ahead and turn on the car. All right. All right, now let's go give you guys a sound of the intake. Go ahead and let it warm up for a little bit, and then I'll show you. Now that the car is warmed up a bit, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys. So I don't know if you're able to tell a little bit. All right, but you probably won't be able to tell just for me doing that, but I'll go ahead and go on the drive in a bit and show you guys the after. All right, guys, I'll give you guys an update real quick. So I went ahead and cut out my gloves cut. I accidentally hit a sharp edge, but oh well, I'll change them right now, but don't mind that. So there was this piece right here that I had to cut out. I didn't have a grinder, so I went ahead and just used a blade. Um, it looks a little rough, but it's actually pretty smooth. I went ahead and sanded it down a little bit. So it's pretty much, there's a wall right here. I forgot to sh get a clip of it. But if you watch John's video from LHT, you'll see what he cuts out. Pretty much that's what I did, but he, he says to keep this rubber grommet right here by the bushing. I'll show you guys why in a bit. But also, when you cut this piece out, you'll be left with some plastic. And that plastic, you're gonna wanna cut a little piece to fit in here. Let me go ahead and show you guys the piece I cut out. So, as you can see the bottom here, I left a little opening just cause it steps down a little bit right there. And so, if we go ahead, so there you go. So we're gonna go ahead and put some plastic bonder on there, bond it up just so it covers it up. And yeah, that pretty much acts as like a muffler and it muffles all the, the intake noise. So pretty much what it's gonna do now, it's just gonna give it a more raw like intake type of sound. But the only reason I did it was, here, let me show you guys. So I need to upgrade a filter anyways. This one's all freaking dirty. So let me go ahead and show you guys the K&N air filter but as you can see you see that little piece right there right on the end that goes right in that rubber grommet let me go ahead and grab the K&N and do a little side comparison versus this one real quick all right so here's the K&N and then here's the stock one pretty much almost identical it's just the material on the K&N is a lot better than the OEM but as you can see you know instead of just getting this ra a random filter uh, let me give you guys the part number so this one and specifically it's for the s2000 i don't know if it's for the s2000 i'm pretty sure it's for other models but since the oem one comes with this little rubber piece right here to go in there pretty much holds it in place so it won't be moving around let me go ahead and mock it up a bit so when you go ahead and place it in there it fits right in there you see and so 
this is a direct fit as well so yeah let's go ahead and put it on it looks way cleaner honestly like look at that and then in comparison to let's see in comparison to this bruh if this was clean you know either way this would still look way cleaner than this there's a reason behind you know why i'm not just getting a regular drop-in filter not drop-in filter but aftermarket cold air intake because you know like it's been proven that the air box on the s2000 is better than any intake you know not in horsepower right wise but more in like performance where you know if you take it to the track it's not getting a lot of heat so like a cold air intake would the cold air intake is only good for numbers like on the dyno but it's not really good for the track john explains a little bit more about like the whole physics behind it and pretty much those intakes end up just heat soaking all the heat from the engine rather than you know keeping it cold air you know this is a whole box keeps cool air in you know it still gets hot it's plastic yeah but it's been proven on the track to where it stays consistent rather than getting hot rather than that colder intake then becomes you know a hotter intake <laughs> to be honest but let's go ahead and mock this back up and put it back on the car i'm gonna go ahead and change the glove too look at this bro as you can see with little to no force you know i was able to get that little melted piece off pretty much melted you gotta just pop it off as you can see it's pretty flush you know you're not gonna break anything you're not gonna make it look ugly you know but now as you can see like this piece was right there comes right off all right so the reason you should get this one is because pretty much has everything like the oem one does like those little inserts in there so the it connects right in like literally it's locked in place like in place new intakes in you can sort of hear the intake a little bit more sort of sort of let's go this way go through a little tunnel so we'll see how that sounds oh wow all right guys so i'm thinking of getting a q nvidia q 300 exhaust dual tip you know it's not too loud it's not too raspy it's just perfect you know Stock exhaust is nice, so I think I'm gonna leave it like this for a while. But I think if I do upgrade to an exhaust and a test pipe, it'll probably be the Burt Technologies with the NVIDIA Q300. But yeah, just with that LHT airbox mod, I definitely feel a difference, you know, in the sound. You know, it's more sound, it's more sound preference for me, because I like more of that raw feeling. Especially when VTEC kicks in, it's just like it just sounds so sick even when i downshift it's a lot better so you know that's a plus you know if you're you're looking to get an s2000 and you're gonna change out your filters and do all the little maintenance you know just go ahead and upgrade to the k and air filter i went ahead and put the i'll go ahead and put the part number again on the screen right here 
you know it's inexpensive you know it's kind of hard to find because not many places stock it but i was able to get one from o'reilly's it's pretty pricey but it's all good at least i got a new filter and you know with the oem box and you know watching lhc performance you know throughout the years before i even had the s2000 i knew like if i ever got an s2000 that would be like the first thing i ever do is just do that little oem plus mod just because just because you know like this intake goes a long way in performance so why change it you know i know there's other carb legal ones but this is perfect honestly i don't think i'll ever change out the intake i'll probably get like a snorkel that goes more to the front that i can add on to the oem one but for now i think this is this does me well you know like i love this car bro I would definitely say it's an upgrade from the 1010. You know, it takes me back. Like I said, I, once I go turbo, I won't ever go back. But you know, like, getting in this S2000, like, knowing I want it forever, it just crazy. Whoa, listen to that. It just screams. You know, this car just wants to rev. Uh, you know, I know it's not the AP1 that revs out to 9K. This one has a lot more torque, the AP2. It just revs out to 8K, you know, but definitely gets there a lot faster. And, wow, you know, I'm amazed.